The weight quadruplet. Like growing up was a lot of sharing, just like all the time. Went from matching outfits to matching acceptance letters. It was surreal, but also familiar at the same time, because up to that point, we were so used to kind of doing everything together. Aaron, Nigel, Zachary, and Nicholas all got into nearly 60 colleges, including Duke and Harvard, but landed at Yale because financially they offered the best package. The guys, they put on their big boy pants and made a, made a, a tough decision, you know, of, of, okay, this is going to be the best for, you know, best overall approach for us to take as far as going to school. The Wade quadruplets grew up in the suburbs of Cincinnati, Ohio. I think that growing up there was, I think, less competition than you, than you might have expected because, you know, we all did the same sports, things like that. But, you know, for example, we played football when I was a lineman, Nigel was a corner, Zach was like quarterback, that type of thing. So we had like different roles that we we're going for. So we weren't always directly competing. And even in school, you know, we all did well. Their father works at General Electric, their mother, a high school principal. Part of being an educator is discipline and managing your time. I think the biggest thing as parents is that you set you know, those expectations, you know, you, you allow them to explore as well, you know, their interests and what they want to do. Technically, three of the four graduated this year. Aaron is still working on his senior thesis, and things have changed. I come home most often, and so when I do, I'm usually the only one home. And so that's very nice just because we were younger, uh, we shared rooms of two and two. And so now I kind of room to myself. But it's not the last you'll hear of them. I think it's less uh, what's next for the quads and what's left for like each individual. Because I think that especially during our time at Yale, we built our own individual futures and we're each pursuing that. I love I just their story. Love that story. I'm never going to get tired of their story. You know they made a huge impact in New Haven, Connecticut. Mm. So. Congratulations to the Wade brothers. And you know, this will be the first time the Wade brothers are not living in the same state. As Dana just mentioned, we certainly wish them all the best. And that's how we'll end First at Four on this Tuesday. Fox 59 News Live at 5 with Dan and Fanchon starts now.